Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Two Minds Against the Overlords campaign. Tapcat has done a wonderful job in getting us through the retaliation mission and he only lost a few soldiers so that's really good. In return I'm left with the Protect the Device mission because why not and we want another engineer also I actually would want to continue with the black market. I needed to do some gymnastics and purchase some extra um, alloys. But the good news is we do have armor upgrades. Finally, look at that sweet, sweet hit points coming in and we even got extra slots. Granted, we can't fill all of them. I produced uh, two extra med kits just for the sake of staying safe. But over time, there will be additional items such as new ammunition, but also mine shields, my personal favorite, that would be coming in. And we do have plenty of room available. So Hoppite is leading today's um, team. He's uh, back from the Mad Bay and I want to give uh, him the final uh, promotion that he deserves. Mad Dog, x 6 Implacable and Trojan are joining as well. Um, we do have a bit of a coloring scheme issue here. I know that Tepcat loves uh, these guys to be in red. Uh, I hope I'm not undermining our color scheme here. Uh, but I like my uh, healers in green. I don't know, what can I do? It's deeply rooted within my years of playing XCOM. Anyways, we're rushing right into the mission. Let's hope I can pull this off. To destroy the data tap installed nearby, we need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. All right, my beloved protect the device mission. 50 hit points on that device. And we need to make sure that we're getting there before the enemies will destroy it. We're far away, uh, so in the end game, I would argue we might have already lost that mission. But out. this time it might be different. A good decision. We are actively rushing in. Want to take the high ground here and see how we can push in. Good, we're keeping a tight formation. Double move in the first instance. And let's see what we're up against. Okay, we already can see two packs uh, here. It was a difficult mission, so somewhere out there are the other two packs. Opening the doors. Hogbite carefully moves up. Good. Order's confirmed. Moving up. Headed there now. Step move on. up, move up. And we're moving up. I'm on it. We got something over here. Uh okay. All right, um, yeah, that was a bit unexpected, I must say, but not completely bad. So one overwatch. Um, 
two overwatches. And I think this year should um, knock them a little bit down. Good. Let's hope we're not triggering something with that. The answer is no. And more focus. Good. Who's over here? I've forgotten about the first shot. Uh, I think six was the first, second was five. So we're looking at uh, 39 hit points left. This is a bit... <coughs> disastrous. I didn't want uh, to start a fire up here. I'm going. On your order. This is an extremely well equipped mechanized combat. Okay, we do have a problem now. And that problem can only be solved by using explosives. So zipper to the front line. Oh, come on. A little bit closer, please. Give me some slack game. Okay, well, that that didn't work as planned. Sending up here could be dangerous because once it's breaking down, you're falling down and that takes extra fall damage. And also, we don't want to cluster up. Micro-missiles are a real problem. Throwing wouldn't work uh, far enough. Could move up to here. Still full cover, not flankable. And we can get that assault down. My main problem is I know there is another uh, pack further back down. to here. Flashbang wouldn't be the worst. Get both of uh, these guys out. Hmm. Difficult situation. Could move to here, play it very defensively, wait for the mech to come in. The two armor, if we can't shred it, 
will be a problem for us. We can't get the mech down. We don't have blue screen rounds yet. It's too well armored. Is it clear? Okay, that did not work out. I know this would trigger another pack and we are not immune to explosions so that wouldn't be a great idea either. Mech would never come uh, uh, so close. I'll wait with Hawkbite. I don't want to rush in. And since we haven't clustered up, we're actually doing very well. 25 hit points. Good, these guys here are a problem. One that I can deal with, uh, though. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, we need to shred him. So, trying to get that down. I'm on it. Moves over here. This is going to deal extra damage, no matter what he's going to do. Throwing grenade. We're setting the Psionic up for some extra damage. Down to six hit points. Commando has reduced uh, damage by Hogbite. Okay, interesting. Moving to position. Trying to not uh, get that last pack triggered. Down to one. I think we can kill both, although Hogbite won't get the kill. Big deal. Ammo back. So that'll deal damage, but won't kill him. Oh, even a shutdown for two rounds. Well, that's easy. On the move. All right, getting uh, this guy out of cover. Nice 
Nice. Little promotion right there. And we're going back into full cover. Sustenance. Oh man, how I love those already with the priests. Isn't it great to have sustenance on more enemies? Raptor commandos are nasty. Really nasty. Two. And Raptor Commando deals some damage. No, just disorients. Okay, cool. To move forward. It is clear. Moving to position. Advent forces sighted. <sighs> Starting to shred uh, the Mac. Good damage, good damage, I like it. And we are moving completely out of line of sight. I think Overwatch from here. That's a normal sector. We're down to 19 hit points. Hogbite is just dominating the back line. <laughs> Melee vulnerability, that's a double kill right there. Nice little Illyrium core on top of it. Like it. On the move. Hostile target down. Status confirmed. Yeah. Hostiles yep. Very good. Flawless. Protect the device. That's how it's done, baby. And we got Hogbite the promotion. I'm already happy. Getting that uh, extra XP on him. He was very close to a promotion. And yeah, we got to know the Raptor. Uh, and the Wrath uh, Sword, both of them are pretty nasty companions. Alright, let's get Perry, thank you. Love it. Soldier doesn't trigger Overwatch. Ooh, that's pretty good as well. Bladestorm is fantastic and Sustenance is good as well. Unfortunately not Fortress, but I mean, you can't really complain.
Uh, I think Amplify isn't bad either. And as long as we don't have our um, training uh, school, might as well use some ability points for Hogbite. I know that he is going to be worth it. Um, overcharge would be great. Channel is good, Deflect is good, Bladestorm is good, lots of abilities are good. But let's look at the new classes. So we did have XQS6 here with us and we need Splinter Armor. That is important. He also has Bandolier, which we're going to get soon dedicated um, ammo inventory slot. That is really good. Implacable. Gains two charges for post-medic healing, regardless of uh, the medkit charges. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, uh, there's actually a cool feature. The passive ability of uh, the medic is that if he has medic charges in the medkit left over, it'll reduce the healing time of everybody else. So uh, it's actually worth uh, using uh, him. I like advanced trauma kits. Uh, plus one revive charge reviving a unit heals uh, three additional hit points and no longer ends the turn if you have actions remaining <coughs> just in case someone goes down it's pretty damn good i've used it in my other campaign a lot i don't think we're going to have many downed characters but yeah emergency eight uh, eight isn't bad either covering fire of course is fabulous and Oh wow, like he has a lot of overwatch related abilities and quick draw is fantastic for them uh, with the uh, offhand, the arc uh, launcher, like quick hand alone uh, makes it a good build because he has two actions every turn. You and your crew have good, got an engineer, we're alone intel because I lasted through the intel. And we do have a laboratory check. Why didn't we upgrade that? Okay, because we did not have enough power. That's a good argument. That's a very good argument. I think we just want to get power faster, then we can upgrade the lab faster and that will make our life easier because quicker res uh, research. Makes sense, right? Oh, there's even Avenger power. Almost as if the game would be listening in. Intel isn't bad either, but I think we're okay. Uh, can't make contact at the moment. Okay. Well, we are finding out more about the actual Chosen, getting to that Warlock. Resistance Rising is plus two resistance contacts, yeah. Not my favorite one. So we could either go deeper here, aim. My Reapers are up for taking on some additional orders. Our influence with the resistance factions is Supplies and promotion. Reduce the Avatar project. I think that's not bad. Um, I tell you what. Putting Hogbite on here for uh, 10 uh, dodge. What can go wrong? I know I'm a sucker. I put uh, a lot of eggs into the Hogbite basket, but a Templar with 100 dodge uh, is just too good to not play it. Um, reducing the Avatar um, project will help us to stay in the game for longer, so that's actually quite good. Let's go ahead with it.
Risk of capture on all covert action missions. That is nasty. But I'm not sure. Are we playing with uh, permanent dark events? I haven't uh, seen Tapcat's um, uh, original settings. Bleeding rent sucks. Or stiletto rounds. Um, that means we'd want to get hit even less. Okay. We want to upgrade that as soon as possible and staff our second um, scientist there. And very soon we're going to get even... There you go, see? We're good. Let's continue building the radio relay that Tapcat uh, started. Did he want the comp uh, continent bonus? Effect of all weapon modifications increases, isn't that? Wow, Tapcat is getting all of the lost missions. Uh, I feel bad for him and good at the same time because uh, these are the ones that uh, just play fantastically. Let's see, what am I handing him over? Oh, he can uh, play with the Reaper again. I think that will make a lot of sense. And in five days, the covert action is uh, gone. And that means Hogbite is ready again. So we both have like one hero class that we're playing. He's rocking the Reaper, I'm rocking the Templar. Um, and yeah, he has mainly his prime team with maybe the exception here of Trojan. It's interesting that you would give yourself a condom um, nickname, but okay, each to their own, I guess. It Marina likes protection. So, yeah, he has a full team, Zebra Tech Specialist. Uh, double Zebra would potentially be a little bit uh, too much, but he has Marine, Zebra Tech Specialist, Reaper, and then plus one. And there are plenty of options. Marksman isn't bad. Uh, we're a bit shy on um, Assault Infantry, is what I'm seeing. So maybe if we get a new recruit, another assault infantry wouldn't be the worst idea. Um, yeah, just one assault infantry. We got plenty of field medics, so there's no shortage of that. Um, yeah, I guess assault infantry is uh, the most obvious case. Let's... Yeah, we're not recruiting anyone now. I don't want to waste money tired or hungry or just need a treat Advent burger the place for me yeah I lost her in the second mission so far we're doing uh, respectably well magnetic weapons are soon going to come up and uh, with that we would uh, move solidly towards mid game not a bad idea I like it I like it a lot and as uh, soon as supply drop comes up, sabotage is done, what else? Yeah, I think everything's fine. I can hand that over to him. New orders, Commander. Nanoscale vest. That's okay. We don't have enough trooper corpses. And frankly, there are better items. Seems to have given the resistance a morale boost. I think Alien Biotech is definitely the next one because then we can do all of uh, the autopsies plus yeah, that, that will open up a lot so getting an Alien bio, uh, Biotech also gives us proving ground after getting the um, officer and I think it also gives us uh, access to the infirmary and I would argue infirmary should be the next uh, building but I leave that up to Tapkit. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. 
Um, no, I think we're good. I don't know. That update uh, upgrades would be fine, but I don't want to hemorrhage all of our cash. I think we're okay at the moment. Good. Take care, guys. If you enjoyed the run, uh, leave a like and a comment down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.